autism is it's a it's a neurological condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a developmental condition, whichever way you put it. Mm-hmm. So, which means that the way a person develops, a person mm-hmm. who has autism develops in a way that is slightly different from the way mm-hmm. typical developments happen. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in such typical developments, say somebody who has a cerebral palsy or mental retardation, mm-hmm. they have delays in certain areas. Mm-hmm. Say with mental retardation, there might be delay in cognitive development, mm-hmm. right? With uh, cerebral palsy, there would be development in areas that are to do with movement issues, mm-hmm. right? Uh, in autism, it is not necessarily always a delay per se, but it is a different way that development takes place. Mm-hmm. So, to give you an example, uh, the way communication develops in most people is that from the time they, we, are, we are infants, we are communicating in some manner or the other, Mm -hmm. through a crying, through our eyes, then through pointing, Mm -hmm. looking, etc. And then slowly speech develops. Mm -hmm. With many people with autism, there will be a development of speech, pretty fluent speech, but there will not be any communication. Mm -hmm. This speech would be to use, used to repeat um, commercial, serials, songs, but not for communication. Mm The point I'm trying to make is that it's, it's a different way the development happens. So the brain is wired differently. Mm-hmm. The causes, well, the causes one does not yet know what. There is no one cause for autism. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of research going on, but it's it's a combination of causes. And what causes co- autism in one individual might be very different from the cause in another individual. Mm-hmm. Um, the important thing to remember is that this is the causes. Uh, developmental, it's neurological, it is not because of something that the parents have done to cause the child to be autistic. It's a genetic thing? There is a genetic component as well, but it is not the only reason. Okay. There could be other causes combined with the genetic. Such as? And, uh, well, it could be some kind of a uh, trauma during uh, in uterus, it could be something... Where trauma trauma during, you said? Uh, something that happens while the baby is in the uterus. Uh-huh. It could happen, it could be a combination of something that happens at birth. Mm-hmm. It could be, it, one doesn't really know as yet. These okay. are all, you know, stuff that is still being... And are to. there any treatments and uh, how effective are they? Uh, well, treatment can be very effective. Uh, the most effective and the one treatment that is uh, known to work for children is uh, specialized education. Okay. That is the one treatment that works for children. Mm-hmm. And specialized education that is used with uh, using a lot of behavioral interventions, mm-hmm. lot lot of structure that gives predictability, mm-hmm. uh, that uh, prepares children for what is going to happen, that uses a lot of visuals. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing that is the most effective. Okay. Of course, autism is a spectrum condition, so you have some children who are mildly affected than some who have more significant impairment. Mm -hmm. So some of them who don't have too many social issues can get by with more typical, you know, educational uh, methods. Mm -hmm. But by and large, most of them do require a lot of specialized intervention, particularly in the early years. How prevalent is autism? How many people are autistic? Well, it it is a pretty common condition. Uh, It's just that... um, it's only in recent years that diagnosis has been effectively taking place. Mm-hmm. But if you go by Western numbers, if you take the entire autistic spectrum, mm-hmm. which means people who have more significant issues and people who have more mild issues, it would be about 1 in 100. 